everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I have the privilege of interviewing Sophie A.G. Hi guys. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. So the first question is, um, what ins who or what inspired you to start making doll videos? Yeah, so like in April of last year, you know, during COVID, I was stuck at home, I was really bored. And that was when I kind of like rediscovered my dolls and I started like watching um, AG tube, like Macy Pixie seven. And then I kind of like just started to, I looked up on YouTube, like how to make stop motions. Cause it really like watching her AGSMs really like inspired me and interested me in starting to make my own. And then like I would, when I would show my family them, they would always be like, you should put these on YouTube. And I really didn't want to cause I was like afraid of people finding out about my channel. And then like I, after like a couple of months of making them, I just finally just decided to start a YouTube channel. That's really cool. Yeah, thanks. So um, have you told your friends about your YouTube channel? Yes, so I have told like most of my friends uh, about my YouTube channel, like my close friends, not really anybody, like I'm not on a soccer team. I haven't really told anybody on there yet, but yeah. So um, the next question is, what is your favorite thing about being on AGTube? Just, I really like um, how everyone in the community is so supportive and, you know, most times everybody leaves nice comments for each other. I think that's just really cool. Yeah. And how, like, creative everyone is. Everyone, like, makes such amazing content and it's just fun to watch. Yeah. Do you have any goals for your channel? Like, what is your main thing that you want to do with your channel in the future so I would really like to uh, like gain some subscribers like a few more subscribers by the end of the year and start making like more content other than AGSMs like I'm really bad at hairstyle videos like I can never get the angle right or you anything not. Like that. and I kind of just want to improve on that too so I could start getting like more content besides AGSM on my channel. Yeah, I'm excited about seeing that. <laughs> yeah. So what is your favorite type of video to make? AGSMs, I, they're pretty easy for me to make and I just love like voicing and filming um, my dolls. That's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And what is your least favorite type of video to make? Hairstyle videos. <laughs> yeah. I just, yeah. I'm just not good at them. <laughs> it's, it's really hard yeah like especially in a doll I feel like because you have to get your hands in the shot and the doll and then, like yeah yeah oh my god <laughs> and my hand always like blocks you know the braid that I'm doing or yeah. whatever so yeah so have you made videos for your YouTube channel that you've started but not finished or completed but never posted yes I have actually um when my Sage doll got glasses, sort of, like, I got a Molly doll once, and I really wanted her glasses for Sage, because Sage is kind of, like, my nerdy doll. Not that that's a bad thing or anything, but I feel like, you know, she needed some glasses. <laughs> and I started to make an AGSM for that, and it was just taking so long, and I hadn't uploaded in two weeks, and I was just getting really frustrated with it. So I just decided to just stop making it. I was almost done. I had, like, three scenes left, but I just decided to stop. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that, that never made it. I never finished it or edited it or <laughs> never made it to YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah, that's something to me too. So what are your main tips for making stop motions? Because your stop motions are really smooth. And thank you. It's really good. Um, so how do you, what is your, what are your main tips that um, you've learned throughout the process of making stop motions that you haven't really heard from anyone else, but that you just figured out by yourself? Yeah, so I mean, some of these tips I have heard from some um, other people, but I would say like always make a script and like plan out what your stop motion is going to be about, what the dolls are going to say. That always helps me just, you know, like make the right movements of my dolls and stuff like that. And also to make like a nice smooth stop motion, I like to put the frame speed pretty high between like 15 and 20 frames per second and just move the dolls really like, um, make really small movements that really helps it to become smooth and like whenever you're filming outside let's say and like the dolls just keep falling over if you're not in like a, a big time crunch 
I would say just take a break and stop if you're getting frustrated because I find that like if you're frustrated in filming like this can apply to like any type of video too it'll probably not come out as good if you're frustrated if you're whether than like if you're in a happy mood <laughs> yeah so you mentioned something a minute ago you always write a script for your stop motions yeah always so do you have any tips for that because I know whenever I'm trying to write a script I just get bored and by the time I finish the script and start filming I'm I want to move on to something else so do you have any tips for like sticking to a certain project for like several weeks I don't know maybe like I always think if like the script really doesn't interest you then chances are like your viewers probably won't be interested in either so that's like I always heard like if you wouldn't be interested in watching the video then other people probably wouldn't like so to gain views I guess like maybe just don't post that video or don't make it but mm -hmm. I know I've had some scripts that I write and then like I kind of just get bored with it with my Halloween special, I was going to make one and I wrote a script and everything. And then I just ended up not having enough time to film it. So the next few questions are about like filming equipment and stuff. So okay. what, what kind of camera do you use to film your videos? So I actually just use my phone. It's um, an iPhone 11. And Ooh. that actually gets yeah, pretty good. I don't actually use a real camera. Um, and as for like filming equipment, like a tripod and stuff, I just got my stuff from Amazon and it's pretty good quality it works pretty well what app do you use to make your to like put your stop motions together and edit them on yeah so i use stop motion studios pro it's only five bucks but there is a free version too and that works really well like you can do so much stuff on that and as for editing i don't really edit my videos that much because Stop motion studios kind of just like edits everything together for you i guess you could say Mm -hmm. But most times, like, I will film stop motion by scenes. In stop motion studios, you can, like, it says, like, a new project it's called. I film um, each scene, like, separately, and then I save them all to my photos. And then I use an app called Video Leap to edit them all together. And that's really good, too. And there's no, like, watermark or anything like that. What? And it is free, but there is, like, a pro version, too. But, I like, the free version is still pretty good, and I cannot... I normally add like my text and stuff in there and do transitions and all that stuff in there. Cool. Did you say it was called Video Leap? Yeah. Okay, I'm actually writing that down because I don't remember <laughs> that. It sounds really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a pretty good app. I, I struggled to find good ones. I used to use InShot and I didn't like how when you saved it to the photos, it would put that like weird, like, um. I mean, it's still fine, but it, I do use it sometimes still. It's like, you know how like a video, I forgot what it's called. I don't know what it's called, but it's like, it has like the two like bars next to it. Yeah. I don't and like, like yeah, it's just like the background of it. Mm -hmm. That happens. In the video. Yes. It used to do that to me. I don't know why, but I then I just decided to switch the video loop. That's really cool. So um do you have a favorite doll and which one is it? Yeah, I do. I, um Leah's my favorite doll. Well, like the one I do own. She was my first doll and I just I really like her. She's really photogenic. Oh really? But I guess yeah, I use she her for photo contests all the time. She's um, your, she was your first doll, you said? Yeah, that was when I started collecting dolls the year she came out. Wow, she looks in really good condition. Oh, uh, yeah, her hair is not the best. That's why it's normally, like, up or I have to cur pink curl it. But other than that, she's pretty good. Well, I was watching your video the other day, and I was like, wow, she must have bought, like, a Leah doll that was still in a box. Very recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's so but yeah you take yeah. Really good care of your dolls it looks like oh not really oh my gosh you should see tenny's hair it's weird like tenny was my second doll and her hair is awful like i need to like cut it or something because it is horrible yeah i know that's like how all my dolls hair is yeah how did you find ag2 so my friend um actually one of my good friends, she always, like, watched Mix Pixie 7, and I was always watch it with her, and then, like, I never really watched it on my own until um, last year when I was just kind of bored, and I was like, oh, Mix Pixie 7, <laughs> you know, like, I never really thought about her until then, kind of started watching AGTube then. That's really cool. So, does your friend have an AGTube channel? Um, no, she doesn't. She used to have a, like, gaming channel, like, Roblox and Minecraft, and I used to, like, link her description, and then she decided to quit, 
So yeah, but she she made pretty good videos. But she has a lot of dolls too. We started like co collecting dolls together. She collect she started collecting before me, and then I kind of started collecting. But yeah, yeah. I guess maybe I mean I feel like I kind of expected this but how like stressful it can be to like post I mean I know I don't have to post every week but I feel like that's kind of the best thing to do yeah. I mean not that like you know if you don't post every week you're you're not great or anything but you know I, that's what I kind of like wanted to do but I just didn't realize how stressful it could be to like make a um, new video every week I guess mm -hmm. has there been any time when you've been like wanting to quit already like you've just been burnt out yes there was many times like when I was um like filming um my Christmas special like I had I had gotten really like stressed out with um that because I kind of started late because I was waiting for this costume to come for like three weeks my elf costume and it kept saying that it was going to come on a certain date and then it would never come and it just took so long and I that made me never want to order from Etsy again but yeah that was at that point, I was just really like done with it. And then I feel like what motivates me is like watching other people's videos and just that kind of like inspires me to keep moving and create my own. Yeah. So um, I saw you post your video called You Got Your Brother Into Stop Motion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so does your brother like to make like stop motions like um, and stuff? That was just kind of like a one-time thing. I thought he was gonna keep doing it because he made a YouTube channel and then he only made like three stop motions and they were, they, you know, <laughs> he was still learning. Yeah. I don't wanna say that they were bad because I don't wanna insult him. He's probably never gonna watch this anyway. But <laughs> um, yeah, and then like he would never really, he posted like three videos and then he never really posted anything because he said that he didn't know how to upload even though I showed him. But I get it. It's hard for someone his age, but yeah. Yeah. So how do you get like the sets and the doll rooms for your stop motions to look so nice and realistic? Oh, thanks. I really, I don't really decorate that much, but I just have a dollhouse and I just kind of painted it with um these, when we were painting our, like um our house, we bought these like, you know, little sample cans and we had like so many of those. So I just picked a few colors and just painted it. That's really cool. Thanks. So, yeah, I'm not the best at making sets, but I'm really good in stop motion. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's just my dollhouse. I don't really do much. Was your dollhouse like? Did you buy it? Did it come as a dollhouse, or did you? Is it like a shelf or? Um, it's basically like I think it's about five feet long and five feet wide. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, and my grandpa helped me build it out of like plywood, I think. Yeah, so it's like it has two floors and it's pretty wide. It's like two and a half feet wide, I think. Yeah, so it's kind of just like a big box, I guess. Yeah. Do you have any other hobbies other than making it? Yeah, I do. Um, I play soccer and then I also play the viola. You, if you probably, I haven't, I didn't know what that was until I actually started playing it. It's basically like a violin, um, Ooh. but like. The strings are like a little bit deeper and there's like different notes and stuff like that. Cool. But they basically look exactly the same. That's really cool. Does your family, like, do they, are they like really involved in your channel? Like, do they like to watch you make videos? Do they help you or, are they, or is it just like very private or like- Oh yeah, no, help? yeah, they know about it. They're really supportive about it. Um, they don't really ever help me film that much. I tried to get my mom to voice um, the mom in the in my Christmas special, but uh -huh. um, like I guess I didn't really like um, move the doll enough, or the doll wasn't enough in like the screen, so my mom didn't have enough time to say the lines. But yeah, they always like to watch my videos, and yeah, that's really cool. That actually exact same thing happened to me. I was actually going to film a longer Christmas video. And my mom was going to be the mom, but it yeah. didn't really work out. Either. Yeah. What is the like most important thing that you've learned? Is there something very important that you feel like um, that you've learned? I know it's since, since it's on social media, it's just like mainly for yeah. Family. But is there something that you've learned that's um, really helped you? 
Yeah, like, I guess like um like whenever I would get frustrated in a stop motion, I feel like the best thing I learned was just to not like give up on like doing it or just doing anything really. Yeah, that's really cool. Well, it has been so cool to interview you. Yeah, thanks. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, well, um that's all for today, everyone. Thank you for watching and make sure to go subscribe to Sophie AG. Well, bye, bye guys. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And if you want more of AG Academy Productions, make sure to follow us on Pinterest. Bye.